to Hey everybody! Hey Quinn, guess what? What, Cadence? Do you know what we're gonna learn about today? No clue what? Bees, wasps, Don't forget about hornets! Murder hornets! Where did he come from? Oh, sorry guys, this is Gus. You want to be in the video with us? I love to be in the video. Can I be? Okay, that's fine. But let's learn about bees, wasps, and hornets. And, and hornets. Murder hornets. <laughs> you see a yellow and black striped insect flying around flowers at a backyard barbecue. How would you know if it's a wasp, a bee, or a hornet? They all look similar, but they are very different. They live in different places, eat different things, and they also sting differently too. So we wanted to show you some tips to help you tell the difference next time you see one of those black and yellow insects flying through the air. First, we will learn about wasps. You can usually spot a wasp by its bright yellow and black rings, also by its thin waist and long abdomen. You see, most wasps have a pinched waist. They are black or can have different markings ranging from white, orange, and yellow. Wasps also range in size from about a half an inch to an inch long, although yellow jackets tend to be smaller than paper wasps. Paper wasps and yellow jackets are the most common. Unlike bees, yellow jackets don't have much hair at all. You will often see them flying around your food when you eat outside, but they also like plants and flowers too. Where can you find wasps? Wasps like to build their nest in spots like eaves, gutters, bushes, branches, and even along fences. Have you ever seen a nest that kind of looks like an umbrella that is upside down? Paper wasps make these nests out of small pieces of wood, which they chew to a pulp using as their walls. The pulp forms a texture similar to paper. Yellow jackets usually like to make their nests in the ground. Can wasps hurt you? That answer is a big yes! Wasps don't lose their stinger when they do sting, so they usually may sting more than once. But don't be scared, as long as you don't bother their nest or try to smack them by flapping your arms, they usually won't sting you. People usually get stung when they get too close to a nest or happen to stumble into a wasp. Some large wasps species sometimes are confused with the Asian giant hornet. Murder hornets! Bah! Now let's learn what bees look like and do. Bees? What about murder hornets? Oh, that's coming up next. Relax, Gus, we're going to get to the hornets and murder hornets in a little bit, but first we need to talk about bees. Bees are flying insects that gather nectar and pollen to make honey. They live and save their honey in complex beehives that are made from wax. This is also known as honeycomb. Did you know that there are almost 20,000 known species of bees? So bees can look a lot different from other bees. However, the easiest way to tell if it's a bee is by their golden color as well as tiny hairs covering their bodies. It actually makes them look kind of fuzzy. 
Honeybees are usually the most common kind of bee that you'll come in contact with. Honeybees usually build hives in hollow trees, while bumblebees will build their nest in holes like discarded rodent tunnels. Carpenter bees like to nest in a wide variety of different woods. And this can be things like somewhat rotted trees or in structural lumber that is exposed to the outside. They also prefer wood that is unpainted. Can bees hurt you? Uh, that's another yes. Most of them can. Ah! But see, when a bee stings a human, its stinger gets stuck in the skin. This actually kills the bee. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that the chances of getting stung are pretty low. Only unless a bee feels like it's being attacked will it actually sting you. Bees don't want to sting because they don't want to die. But people with allergies to bee stings are the ones who should be the most worried because just one sting can be life-threatening. A bee sting causes immediate pain, but luckily it doesn't last long. However, it will cause swelling and itching before it does finally go away. But remember, honeybees usually die after they sting a person, but they are not aggressive, so the chances of being stung by a bee are small. We're getting closer! Now we're going to talk about... Hornets. Just so you know, wasps and hornets are not the same things. Hornets are actually a specific type of wasp. They're usually a little rounder and fatter than common wasps. The biggest difference between hornets and wasps is actually their size. Hornets are thicker and larger in size by comparison. In fact, some hornets can grow to as big as five and a half centimeters in length. That's over two inches. And we'll learn more about these hornets in just a few minutes. An easy way to tell hornets and wasps apart is their brown, red, and amber colored markings with a little black on the body. And even though they build nests the same way as their cousins, Hornets are actually less aggressive than wasps, if they're left alone and not bothered. But if you are stung by a hornet, their stings are more painful than your typical wasp sting. And this is due to the chemicals found in hornet's venom. And unlike honeybees, hornets and wasps do not die after stinging. This means that they may sting you multiple times. Did you know that the world's largest hornet species, the Asian giant hornet, can grow up to two inches long? Two inches long! Murder hornets! Ah! Murder hornets! Murder hornets! That's right, Gus. The queens can actually grow over two inches in length, and the worker hornets will grow about an inch and a half in length. That is about five times the size and 20 times the weight of a honeybee. And yellow jackets are only about a half an inch to about three quarters of an inch. If you really want to know how big Asian giant hornets can get, they're about the length of two quarters laying side by side. The Asian giant hornet has a unique look. It has a large yellow-orange head, long teardrop-shaped eyes, large mandibles, and orange and black stripes. And the Asian giant hornet is native to Japan. They can reach flight speeds up to 20 miles per hour and can travel several miles in a single day. Asian giant hornets are also known as murder hornets. Told you, murder hornets! 
I know that I've been talking about murder hornets a lot, but luckily they're not as aggressive when they've flown far from their home. But if they find a honeybee community near you, they will attack that area and defend it from other potential threats, which can be humans that are close by. You see, the reason they get their violent name, murder hornets, is because they have the potential to destroy entire honeybee populations. This is why they are also called murder hornets. You see, when Asian giant hornets notice a honeybee nest, they can tear apart tens of thousands of them in just a few short hours. And they can do this with a small team of just a few dozen murder hornets. These few dozen hornets can completely take out a colony without a problem. Why? Well, Asian giant hornets love honey, and they will feed themselves and their babies by killing and eating beef. Then they regurgitate them back up to their young. Just one Asian giant hornet can kill about 40 bees every minute. And murder hornets stay fairly dormant through the winter, but they do start looking for food in the beginning of April. It's during the late summer and the fall when they take on honeybee colonies. However, Japanese honeybees have developed a clever tactic to prevent murder hornets from destroying their colony. When a hornet scout gets close to the hive, the honeybees attack it before it can release its pheromones which attract her teammates. You see, a honeybee's sting and bite is no match for the giant hornet. So instead, they crowd around the hornet scout and vibrate their bodies at an enormous rate. This vibration from the bees causes the temperature to drastically rise, which roasts the hornet alive. So now you know and can hopefully spot the difference between wasps, hornets, and bees. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Bzzz.